Well, hello there, everybody. Dre here, and welcome back to my space base, baby. Today, we're back out, and we are going to be continuing working on this wonderful place. And I definitely want to focus on more exploration today. The great thing about this game is we can grind out the resources as we do other things. So I definitely want to build some bases around the map uh, to go to further places that I haven't seen. Of course, the smog comes in, but I saw there was like a circle thing way over here. Uh, is this like... Should I be alarmed? I hear wind. Oh, okay. It's just the freaking asteroids for the 15th time. All right. I'm so used to these at this point. I'm just going to continue on. Anyways, you might be wondering what is going on here. I did do a bit off recording. I actually didn't mean to. I was trying to get thumbnails for the video and I didn't realize autosave was a thing in this game. So we're a little further ahead. We also have glass everywhere and I have to say it looks pretty cool. And yeah, we'll just continue building upon this today, but I definitely want to build some outposts at the start. Actually, uh, you guys let me know in the comments below that there's some sort of golden chest over here. Uh, I don't want to read too many comments because I don't like spoilers, but when you tell me about a golden chest, I have to go find it. So there's supposed to be... I think it's on top here. I'm surprised I never actually looked up here because it's pretty easy to get on top. But there should... Oh, there it is. All right, and that's going to give me... Ooh, okay. Uh, golden seed oxygen multiplier 600%. Excuse me? Iridium rod, uranium rod. I wonder if we can put those in the uh, thing inside this base. Uh, and then a bunch of hard to get resources. Okay, let's actually disassemble this too to see if we get gold. Uh, oh, aluminum and super alloy. Okay, so those things are insane. There's supposed to be a bunch of them all around the map. So I'm really gonna take my time and look around because uh, that's clearly uh, very lucrative. All right, well, this is kind of annoying. I was gonna build the T3 Veget tube uh, just because we got that really cool plant that we just looted. I think it's gotta go on main ground. I've tried to place it everywhere in here and it's red. So, I don't know if I like... Yeah, what the hell? I mean, it's not a big deal. I'm just going to have things scattered about everywhere here. So, we'll put this down. Is my power out? No, it looks like we have enough power. Uh, definitely want to use the Vegitube here, the T3 one. Because we're going to extract a crap load of oxygen with this 600% multiplier. I think the highest one I have is 200%. So, this is essentially three plants. Oh, we just unlocked Drill T3. I'm actually working on another thing that we unlocked right now. I think I have all the resources for exoskeleton... T2? Did I put my magnesium away? I know I had some. All right, yeah, that's just gonna... Whoa. Oh, I don't have enough space. I was like, what the hell just happened? Uh, yeah, because I took off my exoskeleton. Some of my storage fell off as well. That's okay. We'll throw this back on. And now we didn't really need that right away, but I'm assuming we're gonna get a lot of upgrades in this game because we have a lot of storage areas. So yeah, we'll work on more upgrades later. Right now, before we go on our grand adventure... Actually, let's put this thing down as well. Right-click to build. Hold on. Okay, so yeah, I can just put it wherever I want. I guess we'll just put it annoyingly here because I'm way too lazy to make another table. So yeah, I want to go try and throw these rods in this machine over here and then we'll finally get on and explore somewhere this way. I'm just going to walk today and build some very small, essentially oxygen bases. All right, let's try this for the final time, please. Nope. Okay, I I'm going to have to like look this up. I I'm getting sick of running in here for the fusion reactor. And even these rods don't, unfortunately, work. All right, so let's just store these until we figure out what they are and get the hell out of here. So, yeah, there's the ring I was talking about in my introduction. There's this massive, like, I don't know, metal ring over there. Definitely uh, something I don't want to go to, and we can explore this way more as well. So we're just going to walk and see what we find. And we <laughs> unlocked something else. Man, the unlocks are going to be insane in this. Anyways, I'm going to bring some iron. I need titanium and silicone as well as we go. Uh, just to build these very basic bases. First one we'll do is right over here. Because uh, I still haven't fully explored that, I don't think. So I definitely want to make sure we have a base there so we can explore later on. Really haven't been over here in a while. Look at the resources absolutely everywhere. This is great because I'm just going to be able to build on the fly. I don't need to run back and get any more resources or anything. Very easy to see now with the blue sky as well. Uh, so yeah, we'll go over to that structure. I'm wanting to see what that's all about. So yeah, I'm just going to build a very temp base right over here. These don't need to be pretty. They're just here for oxygen. I'll probably put some storage in here later on, but I don't know how often I'll be at this part of the map. Ooh, storage as well. There's also... Can I walk on that? Oh, there's got to be something down here for sure. All right, I got to be more selective in my looting now, so I'm not going to get all this stuff. I, I know where it is. I wish I could drag those because that would be nice. Um, yeah, what the hell is this? I, I, there's gotta be something down here. Uh, what is that? 
Oh, that's just aluminum. Okay. There's a whole maze in here. I think I'm just going to try. Okay, perfect. There's another way out over here. I think maybe I'll come back here because I really don't want to get lost. Uh, but it's good to know that this is an area that is probably of interest. I really want to see what this is. So let's head over there. Another chest here. Never a dull moment. I mean, I could probably just survive on the chest I find. I don't really need any of this. So I can't believe I'm doing this, but I'm just going to leave it there. And wow, chest there. Yeah, they really want you to get loot in this game, which is great. I actually have these beacon things. I don't really know how they work, but let's put one down just to uh, get a point of reference here. And oxygen level's low. Oh, yeah, that's right. I should probably uh, do that. Oh, that's one thing I need is oxygen. Okay, I might go back and loot some. Okay, so I can change the color of this. Do I see it from a distance? Yes. Okay, so at least I know uh, to head back that way to my base if we go too far over here. What the hell? is this oh god is it is it nighttime or just did the, did the whole atmosphere change here oh it's windy i thought this was a cave no it's just really dark out i can see why it's going to be very easy to get lost this map is deceptively large Ah, uh, no oxygen either okay leaving the creepy blue area oh that definitely changes my whole landscape oh did i get, i think i looted that all right i'm just going to continue this way we got a wall that looks man-made. Oh, it is, it's like a castle. All right. I'm really glad I made that beacon. Uh, I think I'm going to go up here and build another small base, like right by this castle area. I mean, I don't even know if it's a castle or not. I don't know what the hell this is, but this gets me excited for the future, man. There is so much going on here. I need some titanium. Uh, titanium. Perfect. Oxygen level's low. I'd like to get this set up if I could. T titanium and silicone. I see silicone. Nope, let's put some oxygen and I'm, I'm gonna actually die. Okay, that sucks. I didn't bring enough oxygen. All right, so we're gonna have to stick around our structures until we find more oxygen. You know what? I might wait for the daytime. It's very hard to see in there and I do not want to get lost with no oxygen to my name now. So while we wait, I'm just gonna go up here, see if we can see anything else. Uh, obviously get some resources as we go too, so we can build more of these structures. Oh my God, it just keeps going. We got... Some sort of fallen civilization or something. This is all in that same castle area. But look it. It just... I, I thought this would be the edge of the map. There is so much more. It doesn't look like there's much out here. But I got to assume oh, there's a chest right there. There's a whole canyon here that I can't seem to cross easily. Oh, man. I really want to go. I wish I had more oxygen. Uh, so, yeah. We'll come back to this. There's a crash ship right there too all right let's go in here now that we can see a little bit i did see the crash ship to the right of me so i just want to see again all these corridors to get lost in but there's got to be like secrets in here it looks like we can even climb up possibly i want to go see if we can loot anything on this uh, ship over here oh my god look at it. it i don't know if it's a structure or if it's a spaceship i see there's an entrance there can i get in from over here all right so i'm gonna build another temp base just to get some oxygen really i have no titanium on me uh there should be some right here perfect okay so now we can at least get oxygen here advanced crafting station all right well i'll definitely go home soon and see what that's all about because i'm very intrigued by that uh i think i can disassemble these yes okay that tells me there's probably good things in here. Let me see the looty loots. Uh, oxygen, please? I don't even know if I want the seeds. I'll take more bean seeds. Um, I don't really need any. Well, I need it, but I don't need it right now. And in this one, I got titanium. I'll take that. I got lots of fabric at home. At least it's nice and bright in here. Ooh, perfect. Blueprint chip. That's the kind of stuff I'm looking for. And another blueprint microchip. There's obviously a lot here. Anything good? I got another one of those. I don't think I'm going to take that. I think we should probably get going home. As much as I want to explore more, the ex exploration is limitless in this game. Like, look at this. Is this... Is this supposed to be done? What the hell is that? Hold on. Super alloy! Well, don't mind if I do. That's the first one I haven't looted out of uh, a chest, so you can mine them. There's got to be a lot of rare stuff up here. I really shouldn't be up here. I'm going to die. Okay, so this is where you get super alloys. Got it. Oh, God. My oxygen's low. Do I have oxygen with me? Uh, I don't. Okay, I, I need to rush. There is one. Oh, my God. It's further away than I thought. This is going to be close. I'm going to take the damage. No, please. Please don't do this to me. Don't you? No. Are you serious? I was so close. 
<laughs> oh, where do I spawn now? What the hell? Oh, this is my... Okay, that was the last one I was in. Grass spreader? What the hell is that? So this is the one I was going for, by the way. I guess I was way further over because I believe I tried to hit the other one. I don't know. I was kind of freaking out, though. I want to see if my loot is on the ground or if it just totally vanishes. Actually, was that the one I went to? I thought it was the other... Okay, I think that was the one I went to. I thought the... Oh, no, nope, there it is. Okay, it's hard to tell because of the dust storm. But yeah, I went over all the way over to my first one. So that is a massive area. I don't see... Actually, is this my loot? Oh, it is my loot. Sick. Okay, so I don't actually lose it. I just die with it on the ground. That makes death not that scary, actually. All right, so let's beeline at home during this dust storm and uh, call that little adventure a day. We only scratched the surface. There's so much to explore, but at least we got some bases around now, which is what I mainly wanted to do. Let's hopefully get some of these upgrades that we got as we uh, were about that adventure. All right, first things first, let's get these uh, blueprints, GPS satellite. Uh, is that going to give me a map, possibly? Shredder machine and area lamp that'll be nice in the cave systems and whatnot so that grass spreader uh grows grass outside and generates biomass uh gives 108 oxygen a second i don't know really what biomass is about but i'm assuming that's going to be our next resource we have to worry about and uh it looks like it's going to be pretty easy to make actually but before that i really want to address my uh power issues we're just going to constantly run into them so i'm probably going to spend some time making some solar panel t2s Actually, how close am I to T3? I don't think there is a T3. If there is, it's way up or it's not on this list. That being said, we are close to the launch platform. I'm 100 KTI away. Uh, so that's getting exciting. And we'll definitely get the craft station set up in a second here too. I just want to get these solar panels set up right away. Okay, I think that should keep us busy for the time being. I don't want to waste all my aluminum on energy, but... At least we don't have to worry about energy for this episode. We've pretty much tripled our power, I think. All right, next thing I want to get is the advanced craft station. This is going to take a lot of resources. I hope I kept enough aluminum. Um, I don't have a crazy amount. Oh, no. Uh, I spent a lot of my aluminum. <laughs> Maybe I should go back out and find some more. I just need one more. Oh, perfect. We have just enough. Okay, and after gathering a bit... Wow, this thing is massive. Uh, we got what we needed. God, am I going to be able to fit this in here? I think I'm going to put it right over here where this other one is. Keep my crafting in the same area. It looks like I can kind of stick it out the side, which I'm not against because I need all the space I can get. Okay. Uh, whoa. Jetpack? Okay, so we need... Oh, I only have one iridium rod. I need two, and I need two rocket engines for the jetpack. I would love a freaking jetpack. All right, hold on. I can make iridium rods with iridium, obviously. Oh, backpack T4 as well. Oxygen tank T4. Oh, I'm, I'm making that right now. I have a bunch of super alloy somewhere. There it is. All right. These are some major upgrades, man. Give me that beautiful oxygen tank. Where'd it go? Oh, it's in my inventory. <laughs> How much does that give me now? 370. Not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, I think we're going to need to go get more iridium if we do want to get the jetpack as well. But yes, please, a freaking jetpack. I think I have enough uranium, actually. Unless I didn't pick up a bunch of it. I need one. I need one uranium. And I honestly don't know where uranium easily comes from. We should be able to loot it, though, uh, from some of the crash sites. Let's actually get this backpack T4. I don't have any titanium on me. I think I used it all, too. Uh, but I've been collecting super alloys. So we may as well use those. I definitely want more inventory space. Okay. Uh, wait. Wait, do I not have a T3 ba- I don't have a T3 backpack? Do I have that unlocked? Oh, mother of God. This whole time I've had this unlocked, I, I haven't been using it. Well, I guess we're going to go immediately to T4 as soon- Oh, I don't have enough aluminum now, do we? I think I used it all. Well, that explains why my inventory has been so hard on me. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm two inventories behind now. So I guess we'll go look for some aluminum- uh, I need to make some oxygen because I don't want to die like last time. I also need a crap load of iridium, so I don't know if we'll get that done today, but there's, there's so much I need to do in this game. And I'm about to unlock something else. I forget what. Oh yeah, no big deal. Just a freaking launch platform. I can't keep up with the unlocks in the game, and that's a great thing to have. All right, so let the quest for aluminum, iridium, and super alloy commence. I mostly need aluminum, so I'm just going to go to the crash sites that I've been to. I left a lot on the ground over there. 
and uh, gather as much as I can. I don't know if we'll get the Iridium done today because it's so much of it, but I'll definitely pick up any that I find. And we have unlocked the launch platform. There's so many projects I got going on, it's hard to keep up. I don't know if we'll get that today. I don't even know if we really need that. It's very tempting, but I, I would much rather the jetpack right now to fly around like a crazed maniac. Uh, anyways, I'm also looting as I go to slightly upgrade these small stations. So I'm just gonna put a craft station in them uh, so I can make things like food and whatnot on the run. All right, so let's fully loot this station. This is the one we saw in episode one. I probably didn't leave much in here, but anything helps. Oh, I didn't think about that, but I can deconstruct their technology. Oh, that's great. Oh, look at that. Two aluminum, a super alloy, everything that I need in literally one chest. Oh, this is great. I might not even need to go far at all to get this done. All right, so this wreck has now been fully looted. Uh, we don't have to worry about coming ever in here again, which is great. And I did really well, actually. As you can see, I had to put an extra storage down. So this alone got me five aluminum, over five iridium, and one super alloy. We essentially have to go back already because I'm full inventory. So I'm just going to keep some storage here for my other adventures. And yeah, I'm sure we'll be back here soon. A lot is around this area. Uh, anything else? Iridium, Iridium. I'll keep the fabric here because we're not really using that yet. And yeah, let's get going back. Okay, finally, let's get this backpack upgrade. So there's T3, the one that I totally missed. And what do I need for T4? Three super alloys and titanium. Easy. We got everything we need right here. I'm so excited to see how much space I have now. Oh, I wish I had this earlier when I was exploring, that's for sure. And actually, not as much as I thought. Definitely an upgrade, though, so I can't complain at all. Next goal is to get that Iridium Rod. We need Snine. I actually might have Snine, as I said. Well, would you look at that? I do have Snine. Perfect. We can even do an, a heater probably after this. That being said, I need Uranium now. And I don't really know. Oh, man, I have even more in here. Jesus. Okay, we are okay for Iridium. It's a good thing I was thinking about stopping at the mine. We clearly didn't need to. So, yeah, I have two Uranium total. I believe I needed two per. So, we need two more. Okay, so the quest for Uranium. Now, that's a substance I don't think I really missed much of. I definitely left some aluminum and whatnot around. But I would generally grab Uranium if I saw it. So, my only logic is Uranium's green. We saw that green area, but by my green beacon. There's gotta be some over there. So I'm gonna head over there and see what we can find. It's much less green today. I can actually see it's not so foggy, but yeah, as you go in, as you can see, it gets all creepy. Wouldn't this be great if this was uranium here? It's just iron. It's just a different color. I didn't loot this ship. I feel like this is filled with uranium. So let's go over and see what we're working with. Can I even get inside this? Oh, maybe, hold on. I just gotta parkour a bit. Can I get in? Oh, there's gotta be good stuff in here. It's hard to get in. Damn it. And damn it. All right. Well, I guess I can't complain with a blueprint. <gasps> Another one. This one was totally random. I'm glad I came back because I was walking that way. Yes, uranium. Oh, God damn it, man. Why are you going to give me another rod? Oh, my God. I'm going further. There's a spiky zone as well. There's a... Is that, is that a tower? Oh, uh, I don't know if I should be going this far. I am going to get lost for sure. All right. This is insane. There's two crashes here, it looks like. Can I loot either of them? Uh, it doesn't look like it's lootable. Hello? Any uranium in here? Why is there cages? It's creeping me out. Please? God damn it! Are you serious? Okay, this is this is just trolling me at this point. I got more rods than freaking uranium. Great stuff in here. I'm not complaining, but I am complaining a little bit. I wonder if this is the valley by the start that I uh, was at. I think it is... So this should take me back to our starting base with one uranium missing. <laughs> I think it is it. Yep, there's my starting base. Okay, I'm not lost, please. Oh, it'd be so great if this had uranium in it. <laughs> Wait, what? I had, I had two. Wait, I had three. Sorry, mass hard on me. At least we got everything we need now, and I should be able to build the rocket booster. Or jetpack, I should say. So let's get that done, I guess. Did not expect to be doing this today. This is great. Oh, I hope I don't have to fuel these or something. Where's the rest of my uranium? I'm freaking out. Did I only grab two? Okay, I only grabbed two. So there we go. We got the engines, and now all we need is some titanium, which I have. And we have jetpack. 
key one, baby. Allows you to fly in air, increase displacement speed. Propulsion plus 150. So does this last forever? How do I use it? Well, <laughs> jumping doesn't work. Okay, it's a, it's a double jump. I got it. Look at that. Definitely a weak, weak jet. But being that we're on a cliff, this is going to be extremely useful. Let's go for my first maiden flight. And it's not that fast. That being said, I can't complain when I get a free jetpack. We definitely will utilize this to get around. And you have to remember, this is only T1, so it has a really hard time going upwards. Okay, so it follows my mouse. I'm getting used to the flight now. It's mostly going to be useful for climbing over things. Uh, being that we found that, uh, like, maze corridor area that has lots of upper levels but yeah this episode's getting quite long i hope you guys enjoyed uh, a heavily exploration episode today i'm really glad i did that because i have underestimated how large this world truly is there's so much to explore and uh yeah i think we're gonna have a bunch of small bases kind of like this one just spread around it makes more sense uh, being that exploration is such a big part of this game. So yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying the adventure that is Planet Crafter. And thanks so much for your support, guys. Thanks for watching and liking. And I'll see you in the next one.